All right, I'm here at the gas station on 39th. I'm meeting Wade. Let's go. I'll follow you. I met Wade uh, about a week ago. I was uploading a, ironically, uploading a motorcycle video at uh, McDonald's and Wade pulled in with his Yamaha V-Star Deluxe. And we got to talking about bikes. I went out and checked out his new bike. He's got a, I believe it's a 2015 Yamaha V-Star Deluxe. I think it's a 1300. Big bike, nice bike, 80 cubic inches. It's got a radio on it, nice saddlebags built in. It's got a blacked out motor. So you don't have the chrome that you have to polish all the time, which is really nice. We're, we met at the gas station on 53rd. We're passing the airport right now. It's all lit up at night. And we're gonna head across town to the Gainesville Harley Davidson dealer. They're having a motorcycle meetup and I think like cook, burger cookout or something like that, a little of it. I've never been out there and uh, it'd be nice to check it out, see the dealership. The regular event that it's held in, in uh, Gainesville for motorcycles is usually on a Wednesday night down on Archer Road at a burger place called Square One Burgers. But Wednesday night usually doesn't work for me. I'm usually busy on a Wednesday night. So haven't been able to make it down to the monthly motorcycle meetup at Square One Burgers and Bar. And as far as I know, that's the only um, Harley Davidson does like a monthly event like this. And then the, the Square One Burgers and Burgers meetup, I think it's might be sponsored by a few motorcycle dealerships and then there's some local meetup groups um, I think Gator Riders and something else I think there's a couple different motorcycle groups they they do um, regular rides they get together but they all come together for that monthly meetup Wade was just telling me his brother had a Harley and he hit two deer out on my, one of my previous videos I did a, a trip to the Gainesville racetrack and that's County Road 225 and he said his brother hit two deer out there I guess two different occasions and the last one he totaled the, totaled the bike so he hasn't got another bike he just hung up riding after he hit the second deer I guess he went tumbling off the bike and took a nasty, nasty wipeout. There's alligators that cross there as well. There's a lot of, a lot of people have sighted alligators crossing County Road 225. And somewhere out there, there's a, a wildlife preserve. I'm not sure if it's further up in Alachua or where it's located, but there's like a, a place that supposedly has like I think it, they have like bears and tigers and almost like a zoo.
face field shogging up. To figure if I can find some kind of coating or something to keep this helmet shield from fogging up. I'm sure they make something to try to anti-fog spray or something that you can put on your windshield to keep it from fogging up. Wade said he had a couple bikes like this, like 750s before he had that 1300. So that's, I think he said that was his first new bike. And I've never had a new bike yet. Right now I've got the GSX-R 750, this is the Honda 750, and then I have a Harley Panhead, which I think it needs a stator, which is like an alternator, the battery keeps dying, even if you put a new battery in it, it doesn't last, you have to, um, it drains the battery if you don't disconnect it, so I think the stator's gone bad, and to fix a a Harley like that you have to I think pull off the belt assembly to get to the stator which is tucked back in there so that would be a project for when I get some more a paycheck coming in next month Unfortunately, it's still rush hour. It's about 6 o'clock. So there's lots of traffic right now. I think he has a GPS built onto his bike too. He was punching in the address to get to the Harley dealership, so that's pretty sweet. It'd be nice to have a GPS mounted on uh, Handlebars your bike for directions. Christmas lights are out already. I don't know if you can see that in the video. They got icicles and reindeer out. It is almost the middle of December. I think it's December 10th today. This road 39th in Gainesville runs the airport basically back where we turned and then if you take 39th like we are going it'll take you out to 75 so you can get on 75 and head south towards Orlando or Tampa or if you're heading north you can head up to Lake City area I think that's the next major thing after Alachua High Springs is Lake City is the next major city and then on up towards Jacksonville or Tallahassee depending on which way you went up here on the left of this traffic jam is the Santa Fe which is the um, local community college. There's University of Florida, and then there's Santa Fe, which is the two-year college. Must be some kind of an accident up here. There's lights flashing everywhere.
Yeah. It's like being back in South Florida with all the stop and go driving. That's the traffic on a motorcycle is a headache. Clutch in, clutch out. Move up two feet, stop again. We're on a downhill pitch though, so we're just, I can just roll down and cruise without kind of just being in neutral. Looks like everybody's trying to get over, so whatever the accident was. Hopefully nobody got hurt. I see ambulances and everything. Probably lots of people rubbernecking, that usually makes the traffic drag even slower. Yeah, you got multiple car pile up. More Christmas lights. The Ramones kicking. I saw the Ramones at Lollapalooza. I saw them at Lollapalooza. The Ramones. I saw them at Lollapalooza. That was like 10 years ago. Probably can't hear me over the radio. <laughs> yeah. See how it turns out in the dark. We'll see how it turns out in the dark. Yeah, that was a, that Lollapalooza was, man, that was a long time ago. That had to be at least 10 years ago. It was the farewell tour for the Ramones. Um, Soundgarden was their final tour before they broke up. And uh, Rage Against the Machine was a special guest. And I took my little brother to the concert. Nick came with me. It was, uh, man, that was a while ago. Oh, let's go.
45 miles an hour through here, so I'm all right, not speeding, that's good. Casual ride on out. Getting anywhere fast. Traffic right now. Just thinking, my mind's wheeling, trying to remember who else was at the Lollapalooza. It was so long ago. And I was at a couple of the other Lollapaloozas. I'm trying to not get it confused with the other ones. I saw the the one in Miami. I think it was in Miami or Fort Lauderdale. The one I was just talking about with the Ramones was in West Palm Beach. The one I think that was in Miami was the Beastie Boys, George Clinton and the P-Funk All-Stars. <laughs> 